It's your birthday. It's your birthday, girl. It's your birthday. It's your birthday, girl. It's your birthday. It's your birthday, girl. You know it's your birthday. Show the world that it's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday, girl. It's your birthday. It's your birthday, girl. It's your birthday. It's your birthday, girl. You know it's your birthday. Show the world that it's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday, girl. Oh, yeah. It's your birthday. It's your birthday, girl. It's your birthday. It's your birthday, girl. You know it's your birthday. So the world that it's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday, girl. All right, hello. Good morning. How y'all doing? Today we're doing the very first look for May birthday babes. And I am starting off with this beautiful palette. This is going to be the BH Cosmetic Birthstone Palette for the month of May. And it is in robe. And this is the color story. Mm -hmm. So, I'm trying to say how many looks I'm going to do. Uh, I think I'm trying to lean towards maybe four looks using this particular palette because I really like the color story in this one. And I also want to challenge myself to do more green looks. So, Let's see how many looks I can promise you guys on doing. So mark my word. If y'all gotta remind me once a week, like, hey, it's time for you to do another look using the Emerald palette, please do so because I'd be forgetting being that I'd be like filming so many other like content. So yeah, but I'm about to go ahead and start on the eyes. I'm gonna start off with the Juvia Eye Prep by Prime shade number two. I'm gonna simply apply that all over the eyelid. I'm going to go ahead and set underneath my eyebrow and I'm going to go in with my Ulta Beauty eyeshadow. This one is called Buzzword. Alright, so I'm going to start off with the crease and I'm going to go in with this beautiful burgundy brown shade and I'm going to pop that right. Let's see, oh, that looks really pretty. Um, I guess this is going to be kind of like my main color in my crease because I really don't have any other matte shades in here that's going to help blend out this brown. So I will show you guys the trick that I'm going to do. So I'm just going to apply that pretty high, I guess. But like I said, there's no other shade, but I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do to make it look a little bit more softer. So I'm going in pretty bold right now. And then I'm going to use a different form of brush to kind of like blend it out and give it that fade away effect. All right, and now I'm going to be taking more of a blended, like fluffy brush, and it's going to help blend out the shade. So I'm going to lightly pick up a little bit of that eyeshadow, tap it, and now I'm going to buff it out. And it's going to give it the illusion that I use a different shade. When I didn't, I'm just going to use it more softer now. This is a really pretty shade. Oh, oh my gosh. I didn't realize this I kept blending. It definitely has more of a brown effect to it than what it looks like in the pan. Um, it's such a deep, deep burgundy shade, but she's giving off brown vibes. But see how I faded that out, y'all? I love this brush. This is the Morphe 519 brush. I think I have about a good like five of these brushes because they get the job done when it comes to trying to buff out any eyeshadow to get more like a fading effect to get that airbrush look i need to try this brush all right now for the actual lid i was debating on cutting the crease i was like no i'm gonna save that for future looks using this palette because i got a lot more looks that i want to do using this palette i honestly think i might do more than four because i really like this color story of this palette but before i sit here and <laughs> commit to something let me just see how i can pretty much do with my schedule because that's what we throw me off so i just missed my brush with some setting spray to get a little bit damp because i want to go in with this metallic shade and it's this one right here i was going to go with the actual main burst on color 
but I think I'm gonna go this way. Hold up, I'm over here tripping. A little bit more base on the eyes. Sometimes it'd be fading and creasing, you know, after blending out my crease. Now let's go in and put that shade. Right, and now what I'm doing, I'm pretty much like brushing more of the shade into the crease. And it's going to help this look a little bit more blended together. So I won't have that harsh separation of the two, you know, shades. And I will also, yeah, I'm going to go back in and blend it. And the only thing though I have to say that I don't like about this is that sometimes, I, like I did now, <laughs> I put a little bit too much of this metallic shade in the crease. So I'm just taking some off. I just, and then wiping it off with the towel. All right, I need a more smaller detail brush. I'm now gonna go in with this matte green to help blend out these two shades together. I got a smaller detail brush, as you can tell. And I'm just gonna go right in between that brown and this matte shade. I use a smaller blending brush because I don't want it to take over that brown. And the brush that I'm using, the smaller one, is going to be Morphe 514 as well. Alright, that looks really nice and smoky. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick wing and I am gonna do the rest of my face and then we're gonna jump back into this look. Alright, going in with the Molly Beauty Black Liner. I'm gonna pop it right in my waterline. The lash line, I'm gonna go in with that dark, um, brown shade, brown shade, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to use her at the bottom. I definitely need an inner pop sparkle. Uh, let's go ahead and pop that champagne shade. Going in with my next pencil. Going in with my Uma lipstick. This is becoming one of my favorite shades. This one is Kathleen. I'm sorry, no, this is not Kathleen. This is Eartha. I'm so sorry. And then putting on my lips some nice little gloss. I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop So Juicy Gloss. I'm debating on putting on a little bit of highlighter and every time I see my face, I'm like, oh, it looks so good, Matt. I'm not gonna do a highlighter, but I feel like my face looks, like it missed that extra like glowy effect that I like to look like. Like my skin to look healthy you know so i am gonna go in with a little bit of a highlighter this is my kooky um heavenly highlighter that's totally destroyed and i'm just gonna put a very little right in me too it's probably gonna look like i don't have any or that's how little i want to go very little i know y'all can barely see it but that's the whole point so let me go ahead and pop on some lashes and I'll be right back. All right, so here is the complete and final look. I think this is definitely a beautiful eye combo. This is birthday celebration. I can see me wearing this look, going out to eat with the girls, or even going out on a date with your boo. This is a definitely beautiful, um, not too bold type of look. Like it's giving bold statement on the eyes, but the way it's blended, it feels like it can be any type of wear daytime or even a nighttime wear 
with the soft little subtle going on with the face and this nude combo on the lip oh my gosh y'all mm -hmm. this is definitely a birthday celebration type of look so i hope my main babes i hope y'all are here for the birthday looks this month it is taurus and gemini month so y'all be on the lookout i do have more looks coming your way for you guys to help y'all celebrate y'all birthdays okay so i hope you guys like the looks that's going to be coming out and of course this look as well go ahead and save them so that way if you guys want to come back recreate the looks save these tutorials i say this even if you're not one of these zodiac sign or this is not your birthstone but even if you like the look definitely go ahead and click the save on the video and save her for another day but you guys all have a beautiful day stay blessed stay amazing and happy birthday for my May babes you guys have a beautiful day stay blessed stay amazing and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye